Welcome back to my daily report market videos with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Hantech on Tuesday, the 2nd of July, looking at dollar yen, which has broken this big downtrend channel. The downtrend channel has been in for nine weeks, um, broke decisively yesterday, closing decisively above the channel, closing decisively above the 21 day moving average, which time and again throughout May and June formed as the basis of resistance. So closing above that is a really strong indication. Now, how the market responds to this um, breakout is going to be crucial because you've seen a little reaction lower today, about 20 pips lower on the day at the moment. Now, this comes back to find a basis of support up around that um, 21 day moving average, which is currently 108.08. Um, then that's going to be a really positive move, I think, because if it starts to build another higher low above that 107.55, we've got the key low that comes in at 106.75, then that higher low at 107.55, another higher low, say for example around 108 figure area, I think that would be a really um, strong signal that uh, the bulls are starting to regain some control. You've got this improvement in momentum. The RSI hit 50 yesterday. I mean just 50 and then just slip back again but if it starts to move into the 50s then I think that that's going to be again a really important and improving signal you've already got the momentum indicators on this MACD and the and the stochastics starting to find a bit of traction higher so having broken that trend channel I think that this key resistance around 108.50 that old low which formed as resistance throughout June on a, certainly on a closing basis but also intraday the failures above that Came, kept constantly kept coming back into 108.50. The failure basically at that level. If that market starts to close above 108.50, that is a really positive signal as well. 108.80 is that uh, is that mid June reaction high. And um, for now, the resistance is in place at 108.50, but there is a, an improvement you could see taking on in the momentum indicators, MACD lines now above neutral if that starts to sort of hold above neutral on the hourly if the stochastic uh, sorry if the rsi can hold above 40 again that would be a strong signal so you've got this old line at 108.15 which is a pivot on the hourly chart throughout june really old support became resistance and then is now a basis of support so if the market can hold above that point you've got a little bit of a near-term buy zone you could argue around 107.90 up towards 108.15 so that can take on as a, a basis of support the market can move back up from there then I think we are possibly in recovery mode but obviously there is this big barrier at 108.50 that it needs to get through but uh, how the market responds today and tomorrow I think is going to be crucial so I wish you good luck in your trading today and I'll speak to you later